Before? Yes. Right, Flora? The girls at the deli said, you don't look 84. Uh, yeah, you don't look she, a day over 83. She, she was so cute. Yeah. You're flirting with the young girls now, too? Yeah. Hey, they love me. I buy everything. I said, give me everything. I, I'll come back and fit. I'll come back after I shop. Boy, this, uh, this shop right. I took, I can't go to King Kong or any place else. And now John's, the, this guy, this John's store is amazing, the prices. They, you ever go there? Uh, not for years, but yeah, they have uh, great prices. Where's John's? Um, where's John's? On Old Country Road, a uh, mile Kong and a half from be? 135. Yeah. By that sports bar, used to be in that shopping. Oh center. yeah, there's a mobile station that. Uh, the Mellis yeah. used to go to the bar there. With his friends. The Amber Inn. Yeah. Hey. Son of a bitch! I never been there. Yeah. The Good Amber, one. The Amber Inn was there. Yeah. Right. That's I got right. drunk there a few times. How for, come you stopped drinking? Cause I can't. Why not? It hurts. You don't have any trouble with your sugar. Yeah. Yeah, that's because I eat right. I eat those meals I just brought. That's all I eat every day, three I, meals. I, I buy Black Angus steak from ShopRite. For $7 a pound, they took a dollar, $6 a Wasn't it good? No. They say Black Angus is worth the. Oh, you don't care about the steaks, huh? No. That's not vegetarian. Um, yeah, I hardly eat any of that stuff. Did you see so, my skin? So what, what are you going to do if mom wants to go to the doctor? I don't want her to go to the store. The guy didn't call her back since Wednesday. She was down to 30 and the dopey bastard never called back to tell her what to do. I, I called it Rose. I called it twice. I, and then I, I faxed him. You know, I give him a whole list of all her readings and he doesn't call back. They have, the, the, your insurance probably has, like you have somebody with that scale, they probably have somebody that can tell you what's going on with the diabetes. I have like a, I have an online personal trainer to talk to uh, um, where they call me every uh, week and say, how are you feeling? I'm like, leave me alone. You I'm, see? I'm angry and yeah. I'm angry and I'm miserable. Hey, Stephen. She went to an endocrinologist, Karen, Dr. Karen Schwartz. Right. They put a, a, a sending unit in her stomach. Right. They took readings every hour for, for a couple of days. Remember? Blood sugar readings? Yeah. They, they put it in her stomach. Yeah. And they got, and what did they find? Nothing. Well, 500 is not good and 30 is worse. You say five hundred. We know it. In the 30, 30, you can slip into a coma. Under fifty. It doesn't go to five hundred. I know it goes to error. It says no, high. No, it says high. 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 It's just high. high. I thought they wanted to say hello. You, to us. Well, that's not very funny, but. Um, I, we thought it was funny. Did yeah. you think it was funny? I don't know what causes this crap. I I, I hijacked Debbie's. Uh, Halloween candy, and I had like eight little pieces, and my blood sugar was like 93 in the morning. So I have no idea. I thought it would be high, not low. You've never been high. I don't know why you take an Amaral for. Hey, doctor. Hey, I take Amaral twice a day, but I'm not high either. It's I, I, helping you maintain. I am just about perfect. I have not. My blood pressure is perfect. You are a legend in your own mind. No, <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand what the diabetes crap is, but. Well, you know who's well, an expert? Alfred Benson's wife. No. Come on, she's. Well, you know, she didn't stop him from smoking cigars and getting cancer, so. Yeah. She wasn't very smart. Well, Uncle Fay used to buy him the big fat cigars. Yeah. And then he spotted. He was smoking the cheap ones. Yeah. It was like cigarettes. He would smoke like a... Hey, did you ever... Your mother just told me that Alfred was adopted. I never knew that. Did you know Don't that? Don't you pay attention to... She knew that. 
I didn't know. You should, you should, this you boy's name is Alfred Benson. Not by Uncle Faye. <laughs> my Aunt So. Oh, she adopted him? Yeah. Oh, I thought you she adopted him. Well, you didn't. You don't understand me. <laughs> oh. Uh, Alfred no, Benson. I, never do that. I know. I knew that. I knew that. You did not know. Yes, I did. I think you need the Alzheimer's patch. Did Did you Did you tell Stephen? Yes. She Don't just found, She just told me. I don't know if I told anybody. Well, she just told me recently that uh, he he was adopted by Sue and Peter Benson. Right. His father was Peter Benson. His he, father was Peter Benson, or yeah. he was adopted by Peter Benson. Both. Well, his Both. father was Peter Benson. And so Peter said, Benson adopted him. Sue was married to Peter Benson. Right. So nobody's his natural father. We don't know no. who his natural father is. No, we was. don't. But it doesn't matter. He's well, dead now, too. But huh. I just found out. You know, his father and Faye got him through Brown University. Mm-hmm. He got a good education at Brown. He had two fathers. He died anyway, so. Well, that's besides the point. Yeah. He had two fathers uh, yeah. pushing him along. And Faye got him into this, uh, you know. American Society of Appraisers. Right. And he did good. Alfred did good in there. He was going all over the country appraising properties. Oh, I had my friend stop by who's an appraiser.